All right, so we got vegan, vegan Evan. Evan. Awesome, and we are um, gonna just have a little quick chat because yeah. um, we are um, doing some some future activism stuff that I've been talking to him about. Yeah. And how old are you now? So I'm eight, and I've been vegan for about three and a half years. That's a good amount of time. So that's like about half of my life. <laughs> Not quite. I think you got a little bit more Not than quite, that. That's awesome. But uh, almost. <laughs> yeah. So that do you feel like that you are a good person for children that might be thinking about being vegan or currently vegan um, or have family that's vegan that you could give them tips and advice on how to how to be vegan and and have fun with it? Could you say that one more time? So do you think that you'd be a good um, person for kids that are thinking about being vegan to listen to and talk to about um, how to be vegan and how to have fun? Do you think you have a good idea about how to do that? Yeah, so vegan, being vegan for me is really fun. And one of the best things to do as a vegan is cook. And I love cooking myself and me and my mom are always making our own recipes for a whole bunch of stuff. So cooking for us is like very fun. And we experiment, we make all our own stuff and it's so good. And then it's good when you can uh, sit down to eat and you think, I made this and it's vegan, no animals had to be hurt. And I mean- And it tastes delicious, yes, right? Yeah. What are some better. of your favorite snacks that you get when you're traveling? Like if you have to get quick, easy vegan snacks, what are some things that you enjoy eating? Uh, well, when we're traveling, usually we're, uh, a lot of the time we're traveling in like the Orlando area. Mm -hmm. Like unless we're doing like the 19 hour drives to New York and places like that, but uh, usually we're like traveling around this area uh -huh. in Orlando. And lots of the time we stop at the district because me and my mom, we still like hats and uh, jewelry and stuff They've got like that. got a lot there. of stuff, yeah. So uh, a lot of the time when we're traveling in like this area, if you're uh, like in Orlando, then this is a good place to come, the district at Mills 50. The, they have so much, they make all their own vegan meats. And uh, it's is so that good. some of your favorite stuff? Like the jerky, yeah. is that a nice thing to take on the road? Well, the vegan jerky? Yeah, the vegan jerky. It's, but if you're ever here, they have all their Cubanos and everything. Wow. And they heat them up there. And then, uh, but if you're just like anywhere, at gas stations, anywhere, you can get just like, uh, like, Lay's chips or something. Awesome. Well, that sounds really good. So if you, um, for any kids that might be watching your videos and maybe they're just very new to being vegan or maybe they have a mom or a dad that just went vegan and they're wanting them to be vegan too, um, but maybe they're just scared to leave all of their favorite foods, you know, because that happens, right? What would you, what would you tell kids that um, are scared that they might not have as many fun foods that they like? So, a reason that a lot of people get deterred from veganism is because they think that they're going to miss out on a whole bunch of delicious foods. And uh, we're not saying that meat isn't delicious. I know that meat tastes good, and that's not why we're vegan, because meat doesn't taste good. Wow. Meat tastes delicious, but, but there's di different things that you can eat that no one has to die for. And it's better for you, it's better for the planet. And so, like, some of our favorites is Tofurky. Mm. Uh, they sell that at, like, the Publixes and the Walmarts and places like that. And so there's also really delicious options yes, there, yes, too. Yes, yes, it's like a vegan turkey. Wow. And they have, I'm so excited, Tofurky. We just saw it the other day. We were in New York City, and we, my mom was looking at her phone, and we saw... Mm. Uh, Tofurky made these like uh, these bite things that have like broccoli and like wow. ham and then cheesecake uh, like that sounds either amazing. ice cream or cheesecakes and uh, there's so many options. Uh, 
Tofurky alone, they have so much stuff. They have, uh, I think, a uh, Tofurky burger. Wow. And then, uh, at, like, Publix, in the same places, they have Gardein. Gardein's the, a great one, yeah, too. It has Gardein. lots of faux meats and yeah. whatnot, like chicken uh, and different and things And now like the that. Impossible Burger and the Beyond Burger. Lots of options out there. Yeah, and uh, there's so many options. There's so many things that you can try. Just go to their uh, local supermarket or whatever and just stroll around and see what vegan foods they have. There's egg replacer for baking. Just like egg replacer for just like regular eggs wow. for breakfast. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So yeah. do you feel like because you're vegan, you also are more open-minded to trying new foods, like new yeah. things that you haven't had yes. before? Why, why would you tell other kids that it would be, because some kids are very um, hard to, to um, get to eat new foods, you know? Some yeah. kids are scared of new things. So what would, you, what would you tell kids that are afraid of eating new foods or trying something different? What would you say the, the benefit of that is, to try new things? So, uh, if, so, they say that you have to try something like 20 times or something to actually know if you like it or not. Wow, okay. So, you have to give it a good chance. Yeah, yeah. And some of my favorite, like, when I get, like, really excited, a lot of the times, like, if we see, like, a new fruit that I've never, like, seen or had at, like, a market or something... Mm -hmm. And there's a couple fruits that I'm really excited to try, like the Buddha's hands mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That, like, so I I love to eat food, as I said, because I love to cook. Mm -hmm. And I like to eat what I cook. And also, so if, if you're scared to try foods, just think, uh, if there's anything, like, you really like, at one point, you never tried that. Mm-hmm. That's true. So you had to try it to know if you, like, really like it. Right. That's a good, that's a good point. And so what about, um, you know, if you're having just, I know that, um, you've had a lot of time to try new foods and get used to them and enjoy them and all that kinds of stuff and you're around a lot of people that eat those kinds of foods yeah. but a lot of people who aren't vegan and they're not familiar with those things they get um you know kind of judgmental about um those types of foods and they think maybe they're not as good so what would you tell if you had a friend that was your age another kid that was being vegan and he has around some other kids at school or other people that maybe were making fun of their food or saying that it was weird food or anything what would you tell them to how to think about it or what would you what was your advice be for them uh but before i answer that question of mm -hmm. what my advice would be recently my best friend that was in kindergarten with me when I used to go to school, I'm homeschooled now. Okay. Because we do so much traveling. Right. But uh, in kindergarten, my best friend, he said he wanted to be vegetarian. And I was, like, excited he wanted to be, but I never thought that he would actually be able to be. And now he's vegan. And that's awesome. And were you part of inspiring him to do that? I hope so, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's really amazing. Yeah, and now his little sister and his mom and him are all vegan. That's so really that's cool. That's awesome. But if people, like, say your food is weird or anything, just what they're eating is what's really weird. Mm. Because they're eating body parts of animals. So just think that your food isn't weird. You're eating... Uh, fruits and vegetables or mm -hmm. something that never screamed or uh, never had a life and they're eating body parts of dead animals so just think to yourself you're not the weird one they are <laughs> right right and just be happy and confident yeah. that you're you yes. know not eating foods that are contributing to yeah. um, animal cruelty well, that's really cool and do you hope that more kids will be open to trying vegan foods and and yeah. becoming vegan and uh -huh. what would you say um, the the hardest part for them would be is it just kind of trying the new things or is it being around other people that don't um, like that kind of food or well, I think that the hardest thing for like kids mm -hmm. maybe like if their parents aren't vegan and won't support them right 
So maybe how would they? How would you um, recommend that a kid who wants to be vegan because they don't want to eat animals anymore, if they have parents that don't want to be vegan, how would you recommend that they talk to their parents about what they're doing and why? Uh, what should they explain to their parents about why they want to be vegan? So they they would try to. Well, I wouldn't like tell them what to explain. Just try to tell them that they're like the kids should tell that their parents that they really think that it's a good idea because I really think it's a good idea and uh, and why would it be a good it idea? Saves yeah. It saves lives. It saves lives and uh, it benefits all the people around you. It benefits your own health. Mm-hmm. It helps the earth. And the animals don't have to die. There's so many reasons. And just, uh, yeah. Okay, that's great. That's great advice, Evan. Well, I think that you gave some really good tips for any kids or adults that might be thinking about looking into a vegan lifestyle. And hopefully they'll be inspired to do the same. And thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.